Hello and welcome back to the Chronicles of Aguna, the Arsenal podcast brought to you by AMS Media. As ever, I'm your host, Harry Simu. And uh, just a short one today, a really, really, really short one. And I felt like I had to do something after watching a really great interview uh, with a footballing legend, an absolute legend, conducted uh, by my good friends over at 90 Minute Football by Ben Haynes, absolute legend. Check him out on Twitter um, and check out, of course, 90 Minute Football as well. He had the absolute pleasure of talking to Clarence Seidoff um, on, I think it was yesterday's show, which would be, it is Thursday today, so it would be Wednesday's show. Um, so head over to 90 Minute Football, you can find it there. Uh, the link is in the description below as well. Um, and, and he was talking to Clarence Seidoff, as you do, um, you know, about his fantastic career. It was a wonderful career. One of the most decorated players of our generation, one of the real all-time greats. And it turns out, that Clarence Seidoff almost signed for Arsenal. Now, when I heard that, I wanted to fall off my chair. Clarence Seidoff said it himself. This isn't one of those, you know, that Arsene Wenger missed out on this guy, missed out on that guy. We've heard so many of those in the past, but this came straight out of the horse's mouth, straight out of Clarence Seidoff's mouth. He had the opportunity to join Arsenal. He considered joining Arsenal amongst a couple of other English clubs as well, which included Manchester United, but, I mean, that is incredible to think that we missed out on such a top, top player. Drives me crazy uh, just to think about it. And it's another one, isn't it, to add to that long list uh, of players that Arsenal could have signed or should have signed. He did say that he made other choices in the end and that he kind of insinuated, he didn't outright say it, but he kind of insinuated that not coming to the Premier League is a bit of a regret for him because he did... Um, you know, think about it on multiple occasions. So I just wanted to share that because I think it's a really great interview. You should check it out. Um, but also it's a real revelation in there, isn't it? And I know we've heard these things before about multiple players who had the opportunity or could have signed for Arsenal. And, you know, th there's loads of them. There's Ibrahimovic. There's plenty more. But for me, Clarence Sadoff is a real all-time favourite of mine, an incredible midfield player. And so this one just got me, you know, smacking my face in... in uh, in uh, frustration, disappointment, I guess. And, you know, I just thought I'd bring up his statistics, his career statistics, um, while I was making this video. And five Champions Leagues, five, five, one, two, three, four, five Champions Leagues, Clarence Seidoff. Uh, two with AC Milan in 06, 07 and 02, 03. Uh, two with Real Madrid, 99, 2000 and 97, 98. The year, of course, Arsenal won the double. And in 94, 1995, he's won the Spanish Championship. He's won the Italian Championship. He's won the domestic cups in both of those countries. Of course, a Dutch champion twice with Ajax, uh, Dutch Cup winner, uh, World Club uh, Cup winner with AC Milan. Um, he's done it all. Clarence Seidoff has done it all, um, played for his national team on an incredible uh, amount of occasions. One of the Netherlands is surely one of their most um, famous players in the last uh, couple of generations. Uh, you know, 87 appearances. Dick Advocat gave him his debut when he was just 18 years old. Um, so, yeah, it's... It is something I just thought I'd share. And at the moment, with football being suspended as it is, and rightly so, because there are far more important things going on in the world, there are a lot of transfer rumours doing the rounds and there are a lot of bullshit stories coming out from different places. And I've been really careful with, you know, with this channel and with this podcast not to get drawn into talking complete nonsense about stories that are just being made up left, right and centre to try and fill the gap. But I thought this was worth bringing to you guys' attention. So please do uh, head over to the interview. The link is in the description below and you can watch it in full and you'll hear it straight out of the horse's mouth. Clarence Sadoff could have almost joined Arsenal. Oh. 